Well, it took NASA three months, but they were finally able to open that asteroid sample container. Remember they got this thing? Well, why did it take so long? Back in October, they tried prying the container open and once it landed here on Earth, but ended up having to stop because they didn't have the right tools. They actually had to come up and make the right tools to open it. And when they got it open, they found the largest hole of asteroid dust ever revealed. Look at that. Uh, the curation team is expected to release its findings on what's actually in that dust. But it, to me, it kind of looks like the inside of my vacuum cleaner. And it's what space. I dumped in the garbage, right? Space but dust, that's it? It is space dust, that's but it. it's very important space okay. dust because all these asteroids, uh, over time, they've been hitting in Earth, dating back to when the Earth first formed. A lot of times they brought the building blocks of life with it on the asteroids. So it's going to be interesting to see what's on those asteroids because in the past, they, we know that they brought amino acids here and that helped create, well, us. Wow. Yeah. That's so a lot, lot in that in that. <laughs> or you know. I know. Oh that can so freak me out a little bit. So a lot going on inside wow. that vacuum cleaner bag there from yeah. outer space. It's not just lint. It's not just dirt. Right? It's not right. just okay. dirt and lint and cat hair or dog hair. Yeah. There's something else going on in there. So it's going to be exciting to see what's in there. And I'm glad they finally got it open. It is one just... of life's more disgusting tasks to clean out a vacuum cleaner. It is. Oh. It really is. It is. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah.